Hi guys, thanks for joining us for the live warm up. Apologies we've had to now go pre recorded for the main part of the session, the target practice. Okay, unfortunately, the video quality keeps dropping down. We need to get this uploaded very, very soon. So, as I said, you'll need your racket and your ball, or your hand and your ball, and a target area, whether that's a toy box, okay, whether that's your sofa, it does not matter. You just need that target zone you can play the ball into. So, start off with leg shoulder apart, knee slightly bent over your first marker. You're going to drop the ball for yourself and play the ball into the target area. You're trying to get free, free is our magic number today, free into the tub. And then we move on to the next area. So just to show you guys, if you're working without a racket, nice and close, okay, with your hand, sending the ball into the top. So it's more realistic today of a tennis game. You're trying to get the ball over the net. Moving on to, okay, mid-court now. So we were near court, now we're mid-court. Stage two, okay, sending the ball. Leg shoulders apart, toes pointing sideways on, racket back facing the same way, send the ball. Okay, that's number two. You won't probably score every time. If you don't, it's not a problem. Just have another go. After three, move on to your next target, getting ourselves ready again. So bend those knees for good balance. Good hand-eye coordination, throw the ball up slightly, let it bounce as the ball comes up into the target zone. Get ourselves ready if you score three, which I've not managed to do. You move on to the next area, retrieve your ball wherever it is, go back to the area, okay, the stage that you were on, send the ball in, fantastic, okay, and then move on. Now I'm going to move on with my bat, get myself ready, knees slightly bent, legs shoulder width apart, okay, facing sideways on, sending the ball, okay, there's one, and again I'm trying to score three to move on to the next practice. Not quite, got to go and get it. So I'm still here. Video's not dropped again. Pre-recorded now, unfortunately live, not our friends day two. Getting ourselves ready. And, oh, not quite, that would have been free. That would have been fantastic. Get your ball, retrieve your ball. Skill in its own. <laughs> ready. Oh, just over the top, not quite. Further away you get, the more difficult it becomes. Get ourselves ready. Can't get this third one. Oh, now you need to get the ball just a little bit higher. Got to imagine the ball goes over the net. Fantastic. That's free with the racket. Now we're going to go for three without. Try not to kick your marker. Leg short apart, knees slightly bent. Send the ball. Fantastic. That's one. Getting ready. Two. And ready again, legs up front, knees slightly bent. Three, oh, would you believe it? Three out of three with just my hand, okay. For the next practice, we're gonna make it more realistic, okay. As in a tennis match, you are going to imagine that your adult is now stood behind the target zone, okay. If you were using your sofa to fire the ball into, probably get a chair, adult stood behind, and your adult is just gonna feed the ball in, throw the ball in so it bounces, and you can receive the bounce. Okay, as you receive the bounce, you're going to return that ball and hopefully hit it back in to the scoring zone. Okay, so just to show you again, adults, this is what you're going to do for your children. Stop behind the target zone, you're going to throw the ball in, and your children, as the ball bounces, they're going to watch it once and then they're going to return the ball. Okay, so stage one, I'm going to show you with a bat, then stage two, I'll show you with my hand, stage three, we'll go back to bat. So, Adam will be behind, they send the ball in, it bounces, and I play the ball, and hopefully I can score my three points. So the ball comes in, it drops in front, I on the ball, I'm still sideways on, okay, still quite bouncy, as I am on a tennis court, getting ready again, sending the ball, oh, missed the last one, okay, good thing about this as well, children, is if you've got your adult in the room, they can obviously get the ball to you, uh, get the ball for you, sorry, so they're going to throw the ball in, you're gonna send the ball, okay. And we move on to stage two. So for me, stage two is without the bat. For you guys, okay, you can continue with a bat if you've got one. If not, use your hand. So effectively, the ball's coming over. It's bouncing by the blue cone, stage two marker, and in to the area. Sweeping the ball, pushing it, okay, with a nice steady 10 shot. So the ball comes in, and you guys play the ball into the area. Getting ourselves ready. Ball comes in. And would you believe it again with my hand? That is okay. Three out of three. 
can't believe it. Seems to be better playing tennis with my hand than a racket. Right, back to the racket though. Stage three, further away. Adult will still be stood behind, sending the ball in. Now, as they send the ball in, they want to send it to this time where the white cone is. As it bounces, children, you want to play the ball in. Okay, push the ball through, aiming for your target zone. So the ball comes in, it bounces, and you're playing the ball. This is the most difficult one. You've got to get some lift on the ball. The ball comes in, lift on the ball. Not that much lift, though. And you're aiming for three out of... Well, you're aiming to score three points, not three out of three. Okay, definitely not achievable for me. One. So my adult would pick the ball out, throw the ball as it bounces. I then hit the ball two. Eye on, remember, step forward as you push through to give yourself a bit more of a chance. And the ball comes in, throw, fantastic, three out of three. And there, today, is your tennis target practice. We've worked on the bounce every single time, okay? Next tennis session, we'll look at being able to volley the ball. But for now, absolutely fantastic. Rewind the video, have a go at these practices again. Okay, you want to try and score as many as you can. Today we've gone for three as a magic number. You've got plenty of time today to set this up, have a go. Okay, make your target zones bigger. Thank you very, very much for watching.